Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden, and we are back with more Sabaton, of course, just like every day. We're going to be checking out 7734 live. Alright guys, so this is either 7734 or... 7734 however however they say it specifically um, this one is off the metalizer album 2007 so uh, this one is uh, finally back to one of the older ones uh, this is a live version this is from the CD World War Live uh, Battle of the Baltic Sea came out in 2011 so without further ado let's do it Double seven, the dawn of time breaks, see the sun rise to the sky. The wheel of time begins to turn. And then we heard it, a divine voice out of nowhere. To our hearts and show the way. Almighty Lord, we have come to your home. Dog love, Templi, the creator of all. Open your heart and you will find the way. Paradise calling and enter you by. Now your soul returns to fire. Fucking sweet, straight rock and tune. Not sure what the song's about though. You guys have to let me know. Oh, it's a sweet solo though. I don't know correctly, they have a lot of like longer solos on the first album, on the Metalizer. So, I'm not sure what the song is specifically about. I know that, obviously, Double Seven Thirty Four, flip it upside down, like, it spells hell. I get that. Um, but I don't really get what the song is about, so maybe one of you guys can clear it up for me. Um, again, coming from the Metalizer album, I find 
I, I do enjoy the songs, but then in my head, I compare it to uh, to the newer Sabaton, and it just seems it's continuously like it's just songs that will never be on like my daily playlist. Um, but again, there's nothing, no fault to Sabaton. It's it's you know it's one of, it's their first album. You're not gonna you're not gonna hit a home run every time on your first album. Not every band's like that. It's only that bands have to find their way, and I find I feel like that's how it was a Sabaton. This is them finding their way. It's a starting point, and uh, it's still a great starting point. It is. I find they've come such a long way, uh, especially on uh, you know the last like two three albums that they put out. All the songs you've heard from those ones have been some of my favorites. And there has been favorites from other ones as well, of course, but uh, they seem to be the strong albums for me, for personally anyway. I seem to enjoy stuff from those ones a lot more. You know, I think that's with over the years adding more orchestration, better production quality and all that. Uh, I think I'd like to see them redo Metalizer in their career, maybe, with, uh, maybe, you know, like added added elements maybe not like new new changing the songs too too much but you know re remastering uh maybe even remixing a little bit and uh maybe adding in orchestra you know better orchestration stuff like that i might actually might actually change my mind on it then but hearing the quality difference from there to the new stuff it just never makes it the same for me the same as the stuff that i'm loving from the newer stuff and again that's probably me coming in late not discovering them when they when they started out right so, excuse me again, long day. Uh, yeah, I, but I, I drew it in enough. I mean, it wasn't a terrible song. And as I mentioned earlier, I find from the Metalizer album, there's a lot of songs that have longer solos than what they usually have on some of the newer albums. I find they, their solos are super short in a lot of their songs on the newer albums. But on this, one, on this album, it seems to be there's a lot more songs that have longer solos. And I enjoy when they do longer solos. They're really good at writing solos, but they're so short. I wish they had, you know, longer sections for their solos on the guitar and, and a lot of their songs on the newer stuff. So if they could take that element from the Metalizer stuff and, you know, start doing longer solos again, that would be sweet, I think. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed doing this one. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. And as always, you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you later.